Hello, this is Brian from TASK. The name of this web-based tutorial is Enrolling a Participant in DYCD Online for Sonic Programs. The goal of this tutorial is to provide step-by-step -step guidance on how to enroll a new participant into DYCD Online. Participants are a central component upon which data is collected and analyzed in DYCD Online. Participants serve as the basis for activity, our group rosters, attendance entry, enrollment, and ROP calculations. DYCD recommends that participants be entered into DYCD Online in a timely manner as completed enrollment forms are handed in. As such, your work scope does not need to be approved to begin enrolling participants. Before beginning the enrollment process, you'll want to have a completed hard copy of the Compass Enrollment Package. Please check the Compass Enrollment Package for completeness, paying particular attention to the Consents section. If the participant you have received an enrollment package from is an existing student that has already been enrolled in your site's DYCD Online database, you may use the Import function. A tutorial on importing participants is coming soon. Next, I recommend reviewing the DYCD Online database to ensure that the participant has not already been entered. Now you are ready to enroll a participant. First, navigate to the participant enrollment page. Bring your cursor to hover over the participant tab and click on add new. DYCD Online's participant entry has been designed to match the enrollment package. The six steps for enrolling a participant are listed on the screen. I will go step by step to help familiarize you with the key takeaways for each part of the enrollment process. The first step asks for core enrollment information. You'll notice that the default for the enrollment date range is the current date until the last day of the program period. The first day for your participant in DYCD Online should match his or her first day in your program. A key question on the first page is, is this an Compass funded participant? If answered yes, the participant will occupy a funded slot and contribute towards your program's rate of participation. If answered no, the participant will appear in the system exactly like a funded participant. However, the time they spend in the program will not contribute towards your program's rate of participation, or ROP. All participant information will be located in the enrollment package. Once you've completed each field, please select the next button to advance to the next screen. The second step asks for general information. Please take note of the red stars by some fields. The red star indicates that this is a required field. You will not be able to advance to the next page unless this field is completed. Participant gender is a required field. Options include male, female, and other. The other category will generate a text box where the enrollment program will enter the gender identified in the participant application. One of these categories must be selected or completed in order to move on to the next screen. Also recently updated is the email field. If a parent or guardian provides an email, for their child, please include it here. If they do not provide an email address, select the box next to No Email. Please bear with me while I quickly enter in the required fields for demonstration purposes. You'll notice that there are many more fields than just those that are required. If you have any questions about any of the information on this page, please direct them to your DYCD program manager. After completing the second step, the next step focuses on school information. Please note that the OSIS number is a required category for THS transition to high school level providers. Please bring your attention to the school information section. The school information can be selected through a drop down for public schools. If your participant attends a private or charter school, you can simply write their school name in. Click on the Edit button 
and then enter the identifying piece of information such as the beginning of the school name or the school number. Then click on search and find and click on the school name from the list. If you work with a single site, this information will automatically be populated or generated for you. The fourth step is where you'll enter the participant's parent or guardian information. One parent or guardian's information is required to move forward, and additional parent or guardian information can be entered by clicking on the Save and Add Additional Contact tab. The fifth step is for health information. Providers are encouraged to enter any necessary health information for reference. Programs should only enter health information that enhance participant safety, reflect the information and consents shared in the application, and help programs run smoothly. The sixth step confirms the written consents provided by the parent or guardian in the hard copy of the enrollment package. Five of the consents are required fields on DYCD Online. The first is the parental consent. This consent needs to be answered yes in order for the participant to be enrolled in DYCD Online and join your program. The allow to take after school surveys default answer is yes. This is called a passive consent. Do not change the answer to no unless the parent or guardian has specifically answered the question no in the enrollment package. Third, the parental or guardian consent for participation in data collection can be answered yes or no and determines whether evaluators and researchers can access the participant's information in future studies. Fourth, the walk home consent must be answered yes in order for the participant to dismiss your program without an authorized adult picking them up. The statement consent to medical treatment is now a required field that needs to be answered either yes or no. It cannot be left as not collected. After each step is completed, click on the finish and enroll tab to complete the process. Once you get to this screen, you know that your participant is enrolled successfully. To recap, this tutorial was designed to walk you through the steps necessary to enroll a participant into the DYCD Online database. I'm hopeful that after watching this tutorial that you feel comfortable transferring the information from the enrollment package to the DYCD Online database in order to build your program's roster. By following the six steps listed on the screen. Core participant, general, school, parent guardian, health, and consents. This concludes my tutorial on enrolling a participant in DYCD online. Thank you for watching my video.